Are you ready for a challenge? How many triangles are there in this picture? Yep, try seeing the problem in a different light. Yeah, exactly. Perfect explanation. Exactly that. And then doing each kiss separately. How many different paths are there from A to B if a B can only go there. Ooh, sorry, this is interesting. Oh, wow. Chat is back up. Ooh, Ooh five. Okay, Duimo, I'm liking the detail. Would you like to come on and explain? Yeah, look, in order to get this three, you just add a two and the one right there because it's the same thing. Professor Lo, what is this process called? This has a name. This method is actually called recursion. We try to see if we can use the same idea. And oftentimes, it's more like you do the problem and you discover, oh, it's the Fibonacci sequence. What's all this Pascal thing that's going on, Professor Lo? You will see the Fibonacci sequence come up all over the place in mathematics. Oh, oh yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I think moving sideways would make the problem really hard. Wouldn't there be like infinite ways to do it though? Because you could just keep on moving sideways. What's the problem for today, Professor Lo? Now, it's your turn. Try to be a bee in an even bigger beehive. And think about this one. Okay, so bad at math, that's a good observation. Yeah. And then it would be four, and then one. Wow, so now we discover that there actually was a Pascal's triangle. Bee. Actually, that's an awesome observation. Yeah, that's awesome. What if we turn this problem into a square? But there's actually more here too. There's another way to figure out this six. Downwards? and over. Like it just kind of has to be on the edge, right? This is, has to go left, to the left, to the left, then to the right. So using that sort of logic is a great way. It started out just being like hexagons in a beehive, but no, there's Pascal's triangle and Fibonacci. It's like the diagonals. I don't know how you get a diagonals of an infinite triangle, but it actually is exactly the Fibonacci sequence. I think that's pretty cool, right? Whenever there are two ways to do something, it also sometimes lets you understand the other thing even better. There's this imaginary line right here, and you have to like stay under or on the line. And the number of ways to do that is like the Catalan numbers or something. Really? It's not beneficial to memorize the formula. Instead, do the problem solving. And it doesn't matter yeah. how many times a different problem is thrown at you, you know the process. We talked yeah. about a lot today. Yeah, this is the greatest, best part of the class. Math is fun like this. There are lots of different ways to see the same thing. And that also helps us to make a lot of very fun little problems like this, which look innocent at first, but reveal the depth of mathematics underneath.